G'day guys, welcome to my best organising ideas for 2020. So this year I have organised my home, I started at the start of the year, I have gone room by room which I've shared on this channel but today I just want to share all the best storage and organisation hacks and ideas that I've done and that I absolutely love. My organisation is very much no frills organisation, it's on a budget so let's get into it. So starting off in our wardrobe, first to hubby's side. So this hanging storage has 16 plastic pockets and it just fits on a coat hanger. Hubby has put his ties in it, um, belts, he puts his watch in there sometimes. They're really good size compartments. We bought this off Wish and like I said, he's actually had this for years and it works really well and it's using that hanging space. This would take up a lot of space if it was on a shelf, but using this hanging space, it works really well. Then over to my side, if I just put my clothes on the shelf, it never lasts. So I have these plastic tubs in there and I just put my clothes so they're filed. They're not folded like Mari Kondo does. I just kind of put them in that way and then I can easily choose what color top or pants that I want and it has lasted. Then down the bottom, I've just got a $1 basket there with my underwear in and, and that's just easy to grab and I don't fold my underwear. The plastic tubs came from the reject shop and this here, this scarf hanger is from Ikea. It works really well. There's not many scarves on it at the moment because it's winter here in Australia, so I'm wearing them. Then next into our bedside drawers. So using this container, it's got eight different separate compartments. I bought this from Bunnings, it's $10 and it's very deep. Dave uses it on his side just to keep his drawer organized and I like to use it for my jewelry. I also have a small one with my earrings in and this works well. I can easily see the jewelry and it keeps it separated. So they're the storage solutions that are working to keep our master bedroom organized. Next into our pantry. So I wanted to share what I've done with the spices. I've seen spice racks and things like that, but here what I've done is I've used a plastic container that we used to have the apples in in the fridge, flipped it upside down, and then used some spare pieces of wood, and I can see the spices perfectly. So this has worked for us. So I've just used unwanted items from around the house to create shelves for the spices. Next, we're going into the kids' cupboard, and I want to share with you Lazy Susans. Do you love them? I use them so much around the house. This one's from Kmart, and I just use it for their drinks and the cups, and they just spin it to get what they want. And then to organize the kids' plastic plates, I've just used this plate holder from Ikea. Still in the kitchen, I want to bring you to our second drawer down, which is normally a junk drawer, but look at it. It is still organized. I don't know how many videos I've done where I've organized this drawer, but once I bought this bamboo wide and large drawer from Kmart for $6.50, once I put all the big utensils in there, it stayed. And the plastic containers come from mushrooms when we buy apples and pears. And the other one there used to be our ice tray in our old fridge. Like I said, I'm six months into my organizing journey, so I'm just trying to do it as cheap as possible until I work out what works for our home and our family. So there's going to be plenty more organizing videos, so please subscribe if you're not already. Okay, onto our family bathroom downstairs. So these plastic containers I got from the kitchen section in Kmart. Um, they're fantastic actually because they don't slide. See these circles down the bottom? It helps to keep it steady, which works really well. And as you can see, it's so long and thin. Look at all that stuff I can fit in there for this really deep cupboard. Before I had this, I just had it all spread out on that shelf and it was so disorganized and I really didn't know how much stuff I had because I had no idea what was there. We've got a lot of double ups, so I just need to use them up so that's why these containers are working really well because they're long and thin as you can see I've labeled it very specifically I haven't kept the categories too broad so it's so obvious where every item goes I've also used more of the apple packaging containers here plastic ones as well as that dollar basket from Kmart that we've had from years cardboard box and like I said I've labeled everything this big purple one in the corner is from the reject shop you could get them in colored or just clear like I had upstairs in the master bedroom this plastic container in our second drawer our hair drawer helps to keep all the hair clippers in there and it works so much better than having it in the Ziploc bag it came in. The top drawer here, I've used a plastic cutlery organizer from the reject shop to organize all the items that I use every day. So my glasses, contact stuff, moisturizer, the everyday makeup, as well as the toothbrushes. My daughter has her hair clips in this container. It's got five sections. It works really well. You can actually take these out and I can't remember where it's from. I'm sorry. If it's familiar to anyone, please say in the comments below. I think it's probably from Kmart. 
I've used these command hooks for the back of the bathroom door just to hang these towels. It means all our towels fit in the bathroom and they dry. Up the top I used hooks and just chose the appropriate weight for them and then down the bottom I've used a smaller hook with a lower weight limit for the bath mat. These storage containers have got to be my favourite. It has transformed our stationary cupboard. They're the all set brand from Bunnings. They're $9.29. You can get drawers next to each other or you can get them on top of each other or you can just get one big drawer. They had three different options. This has saved me so much time. It is so easy to find scissors now when I need to. Like look how much stuff I can fit in there. So I absolutely love these and to be honest I've been back twice since and they've been out of stock. They're really popular. Then I've got another one of these plastic tubs to keep all our technology stuff. The key really is labeling and what I use to label is just a label maker. I find it really cost effective and the font is really clear to read. Next, I have a lot of supplies for the kids, fine motor activities, arts and crafts. I have a whole Instagram where I just share activities that I do with them. So I've used those plastic tubs from the reject shop to label them and then this $1 container from Kmart. I have seen some awesome ones at Ikea, but I haven't got down to Ikea recently to have a bit of a look around. So I've just gone with the one that's the shop around the corner. And here's that $10 container from Bunnings again. Look how deep it is. Look how many pom-poms I can fit in there. This is a fantastic container. It means I can just grab it and I've got all these supplies. These storage cubes are massive and it's amazing what you can fit in it. These ones I got from Bunnings a few years ago because I love the bright colors. And like I said, I just label them. I've used a chalk marker this time so that I can change it over quite easily. Still got some exciting ones to come if you're still with me i organized my daughter's clothes by using these containers these were from the reject shop a couple of years ago it works well this under bed storage container i use for the train set which as you can see fits really well and this container was eight dollars from the reject shop and it's got a handle on the top so it makes it so easy to carry outside when we want to do some painting and then another one of those boxes i just used for her books and that works really well and she's happy with this these magazine holders are perfect for activity books, colouring in books, and I store the puzzles in these plastic carry cases from Kmart, but I've also heard of them being at Daiso for $2.80, and they have a handle. Another one of these cubes I've used in the laundry to store our towels. That's really simple. These containers I got this year from Kmart. I think they look fantastic, and it works really well on the bench. Next into the cupboard, I use this kitchen drawer, the one I've got in the second drawer upstairs, but I'm using it downstairs to give height to these products. Like I said, I didn't know what was there either. So I'm, I'm giving it height so I know what I've got. I won't buy anything before I use what's here. It gives a lot of height to those products and I've got plenty of space there, so I might as well use the height. Next, I bought this from Kmart too, and it's a compartment with three different compartments and it just works so well. It's got wheels on it, so as you can see, here I can pull it in and out. I have this for miscellaneous items and it's working really well because it's visible but it's also organized. As I said I've really tried to use the vertical space so here in the laundry to hang up the duster as well as the extension cords and some coat hangers I've used the command hooks again. If you've stuck around this long thank you so much please give the video a thumbs up. Here is another use for the Lazy Susan. I use this for my daughter's dot markers, scissors, tweezers and markers and so it's quite easy to spin around to get what she wants and the items are just in yogurt containers. This is actually a shoe holder and I'm using it to display the kids toys. If you want to see the journey that took me here check out this video it is a marathon organizing video. I really hope you can come along with the journey and organize your home it will make you feel so much better and you'll have so much more time. Thanks for watching. Bye! All the good times just begun.